Oh, what have I ever done? Far it walked the dying me. Did it seek my aid? Or did the path carry it by chance to the pertinent place? It is true. True that you are awaited. No, perhaps that is inaccurate. True one like you are awaited. I have a gift held long for one of your kind. Heart of the whole, when united, great power is granted, and on the path ahead, great power it will need. Within my root, the weakening of the death that I plainly feel. Only two obvious outcomes there are from such a thing. The fact is inevitable on current court, the aggression, all nine delinquent to that pernicious plague. The second I find preferable, and would seek your aid in its occurrence, replacement. I implore you, you serve the vessel, its devoted strength would ill judge, it would tarnish thine idea instilled. But you, you are free of such blemishes. You could contain that thing inside. All of a fair warning, the vessel may itself be weak, but it is much empowered by that force within. To claim its role requires strength of some magnitude. Prepare yourself well that while attempting the task. Prepare well, but don't dally. Were the vessel to break prematurely, that plague will unleash with rage and power built its aged chain. Do I seem prisoner here? If so, it's not by any choice but my own. These bindings without me, I've chosen to erect. There's some shame, I feel, for my own part in the deed, and this method guaranteed the thief. I still feel that urge, you see. I always will. A voracious desire to spread seeds upon the land, to propagate myself, to breed. It takes the gender child, with a fierce foe, strong in mind and body, striking a section of her mother, though the two were permitted a little time together. I never regret the worm dallying that bargain. In fact, I feel an affection to the creature dead. If your path were ever to align, I imagine you not gain your, you not gain your thought of power to ally. So, it can act as a mind. Then the seal, then the seal shall break the white blade. Ah! Though it bears all one such a soul, now complete, such strength, such a love, such dedication. Is it more than simply a vessel? I only feel like I'm once again in the presence of my beloved worm. The king's soul. What is that the heart of it, I wonder? If it's curiosity willed it, it should seek out that place, that place where it was born, where it died, where it began. That pulsing emptiness, truly it had been transformed by the revelation that sound. Does it feel anything, triumph, or hate? If it does, I cannot sense it. The fate of our kingdom, our hollow nest, that future belongs to you now. That scent, there's another traveler with you. Is that you, Ogren, my mighty knight? I cannot see you, but then, time has clouded my eyes, and I cannot see much. Even your burning voice falls silent upon me. Only the small one I register, it needed to get a chair than peace of myself. This one stands clear upon a good world. Ah, that nine nay, that potent now dared to call the joy of many. Only a short moment we had together, compared to ruin now endured, but what shining times they were. I am grateful you would let it, even if the Athenian somewhat faded for him. Dear Erkin, I'm sure you saw Dry on the way in. She stood guard at the knee for so long. In spite of her heart, she's always been a caring type. I'm sure she'll en- do much enjoy a, kni- a night reunion. Ah, that creature decided. 
It would be naive to claim a friend that you two share similarity. It is a distant link, one word to dream to convey. For it to cling to you now, you've been consumed in the ritual of that garlic clan. In what poor moment they descended upon our ruin, aid their propagation if you so choose, but do not renege on the larger task this kingdom implored. Your companion's eyes burned with a familiar flame, took that then to the scarlet height, and irony to use my bond to grow it down. I know you, creature, and the thorn time shall bring. You need the all in one clan and master, but this land shall never dare so foreign a king. Ah, what precious gift that offered, though alas, I shan't accept. Not of me that flower, nor of the kingdom. For I travel to reach the place, brought by one beloved day thar- and night of land serene. There's rare power hidden in those frail petals. To hold it so close, one will surely be unaware of its nature.